Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Aero ROM Pi for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Aero ROM is a very interesting ROM to say the least. Uh, it's an AOSP based ROM which is inspired to keep things simple. Well, it's their words, their developers words from the uh, XTA page. So yeah, that is there. It does have a lot of extra features though. Um, so it doesn't really feel a lot like an AOSP ROM. But it still is a very very good ROM. Let's get started. Now, first of all, let's go to the settings and in the features section, uh, let's go into system option in the about phone page. You can see it is Arrow version 9.0, so that is the version which you have. Uh, you can go into the change log and see what all versions or what all stuff is available here. Now, build number is this one. If you want to understand that, that's pretty nice. So as you can see, it does have the October security patches, which is the latest version, which is really cool to have. Uh, the kernel is Lineage OS Arrow, so that is a modified version of Lineage ROM. Uh, it still uses AOSP as a base. It may be using the uh, kernel, which is Lineage, so that's just there. Let me just tell you guys a few things about it. As I've already said, this is an AOSP based ROM, so you will get a lot of these stock Android benefits. So that is lightweight and all that. That's pretty nice to have. Uh, apart from that, there are a few other things which I really really like in this one. It does have an OTA updater which is a uh, big point in the ROM here. So you have an OTA updater, you can get that. Now by the time, in the time I have been using this ROM, I did not get any OTAs. I'm pretty sure it's not the Delta OTA, that is the normal big uh, file which you get from here, so that is there. So one thing which I do want to note is that VOLTE was not really working for me. I do have my Geo SIM card enabled now, I have fixed, I have flash the geo fix or the VLT fix file uh, I'm not able to get VLT so I'm not really sure if the ROM really supports VLT or not I think a lot of other people were saying it does support it I couldn't get it to work so that's just there now let's get to the features now uh, this is an AOSP based ROM so the first mentality of a person who using this ROM is that it doesn't really have a lot of features but you will be kind of wrong because it does have a lot more features than what you would expect out of any other AOSP based ROM Let's get started. In the network options is the normal stuff you get everything here. It does have the traffic indicator which is really cool. Uh, you can uh, enable or disable that. And that is one thing about this ROM. All the extra features are inside of e each of the other settings. So it doesn't have its own setting menu like in the other ROMs like Havoc and Android. That is pretty much it in the network and options. In the app and notification it, you do have the uh, wellness application which is here. So it does work out really well. I'm not really sure how to use that even because that's just there. It does have app up so you can customize the permissions for each and every application if you want to micromanage that. In the battery options you do have battery icon style so you can customize from any of these. It also has the battery percentage which you can enable or disable. Battery manager is available, all of these options are available which is pretty cool. Then the display options you do have a brightness level, adaptive brightness can be enabled. One thing which I did notice is that the adaptive brightness if it is enabled the uh, icon here changes with an app A which is pretty cool. It doesn't have the A on the side but uh, this thing it, it, may, it really is a unique thing which I really do like. So that's something in the aesthetic department which I will cover later. Apart from that it does have a font size and display size customization. Ambient display can be customized. It does have always on any identification. Also it does have wake up stuff which I will get into later. Pocket detection is available. Double tap anyone on the screen to wake up the screen. Wake up the device is available which you can customize. Status bar options are available. Clock and date options can be customized. It does have that. Status bar items can also be enabled or disabled as per your preference. Button options are available. So you advanced reboot menu what all stuff can be appeared in the power menu also is available enable navigation bar you can enable that navigation configuration is available disable the hardware keys if you don't want that uh, backlight options are available link to screen brightness is available which you can customize that back home and recent button customization is available and being an AUSB based ROM it does have AUSB styled uh, options in that so that does work out really well volume rocker volume wake and reorient is available it doesn't have keyboard cursor control which is a bummer but hey that is something which you can live with AOSP recent options are available now this one does use the quick step option so it is there but if you disable quick step and uninstall the quick step launcher you can use the normal FAB so that's there uh, QS panel settings are available you can customize what all uh, icons are available you can customize that there's no option for small tile quick setting panel customization but hey that is you can 
do that with adb so that shouldn't be a matter tile title can be customized and the transparency can be enabled from there weather options are available in the weather options you do have options uh, to select the uh, the carrier or the provider yahoo or the open weather map you can customize that it does have enabler for lock screen weather and also stats bar weather can be enabled so that is uh, that is that does work out really well system ui theme so system theme can be customized it does have a dark mode but this is the sort of dark mode which was available in havoc rom which caused a few issues for me such as in autofill and also in the uh, quick step options uh, the uh, the title of the text it's not working correctly uh, because that is what it is available so yeah these are issue, few issues in the uh, theming functionality but substratum can be enabled with the root so you shouldn't have any much issues with that apart from that sound options is basically basic stuff nothing special going on here now extra stuff there are a few more extra stuff in the device settings where you can swap the buttons which is pretty cool notification slider can be customized it is not the awesome slider stuff but hey i can live with that it does have srgb and white color gamut mode which is cool and ambient mean, display uh, triggers are available for pickup hand wave and pocket mode uh, which is really cool to have in the gesture option you do have the screen of gesture options you can enable that uh, and all of these can be customized so that is it in the settings menu as i've already told you guys it is not the most feature rich rom but considering it is based off of aosp it does have a lot more features and it's pretty cool to have that now comparing with other roms which are available for our device it's definitely not as feature rich so i'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10 for features now the battery life the battery life has been pretty good for me uh, i've been using this for about a day and uh, well i've even played games i've used the navigation options and uh, it just works and uh, at the end of the day i get about 30 25 to 30 percentage which is actually pretty nice to have even after playing a lot of games so i'm really happy about that i'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 for battery now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is pretty good uh the entergy benchmark score i got was about 144,835 as an average which is pretty much as what i would expect out of a rom on on pi uh so nothing special going on there PUBG does work out if you are wondering um, PUBG is working so guys here's PUBG for all you guys to let you know uh, it's working pretty well I didn't have much of an issue yes there are a few stutterings here and there but that's pretty much part of the course in my opinion so as you can see it does work out really well I'm not sure how much better it is on other devices because I don't really play this one a lot so so yeah I, I, I hope you guys can get an idea about that but for the performance uh, that is what basically part of the course I expect this much performance out of this one so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for performance now comes the stability of the ROM it has been pretty stable I did not have much of an issue uh, everything just works um, the only issues which I had was a few of the aesthetic ones which I will be uh, calculating into the aesthetic score but uh, as such everything works I didn't really have any issues I didn't really have any uh, stutters or I didn't really have any outright crashes so I'm gonna assume that the aesthetics or the uh, stability is pretty nice on this one so I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10 for stability now the camera the camera with which it comes is the basic camera application nothing special it just works so everything is basic stuff yeah I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 now the aesthetics one aesthetically it does have custom icons as you can see all of these icons are customized and the gallery application the gallery application with which it comes is great it's a simple gallery which I use as my on my daily driver also it's, but there are a few glitches here and there um, at first I did not get the uh, the figure working correctly um, the reason was that I did not select the outline or the icon pack again I had to select it again which is not something which I had any idea about when you select when you're selecting dark mode it does cause issues with the text these are few things which does cause a little bit of jittering but with the substrate and theme you can pretty much have no issues with any of these so it does work out really well it's not the best one but because of these glitches here and there it does cause me to just detect a few points for it so I'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10 now the overall score of the ROM this is a very good ROM there's nothing much I want to talk or I want to say about this one but there's nothing special maybe the updater is pretty good and uh, the battle life is actually pretty good uh, better than normal what I've seen in Android Pie but apart from that there aren't much which I want uh, from this ROM as a daily driver but as I've already said this is a this is a great ROM for those who want a very good stable ROM which you can which they can use as a daily driver on android pi so that's pretty good overall score is going to be about 6 out of 10 so let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so 
But that was a boot animation. So guys, there you have it. That is the Aero OS or Aero ROM, which is a very good ROM in my opinion. But um, personally, I feel uh, my ROM, a ROM which I want to use, should have a little bit more features or a little bit more things which I'm excited about. This one doesn't really have that much. So yeah, the overall score is going to be about 6.06735715, which is going to translate to 6.1. Uh, that is a pretty good score, I believe. Uh, it's not way higher, but still. On the new scale, I guess it's a pretty good score. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Everything which I've already talked about the Pi ROM because the enforcing stinks and all that. I think it also stands here because the ROM, the uh, forum doesn't mention that it is uh, it supports enforcing mode uh, or the encryption mode. It still says that it doesn't support uh, encryption on the uh, front page. So not really sure if it'll do it or not. So better safe than be sorry. So just decrypt your device because it just doesn't really matter. So yeah. I guess I'm interested about the ROM then. Hope you guys like the video. Please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.